तत्त धीम तकिट धीम तीम तत्म Hello there. Welcome to my channel. I'm so delighted you'll join me today. My name is Padma Menon and on this channel I share with you practices and philosophy from ancient goddess traditions from my culture which is India. Today I'm going to share with you the intriguing practice of shape shifting and I'm going to do this uh, through some of the goddess Matangi practices. I have a different uh, separate playlist about Goddess Mathangi and I'll put a link to that playlist so if you're interested to know a bit more about this amazing goddess very relevant to our times I invite you to go check out that playlist. So back to shape shifting. Shape shifting as many of you know is a very ancient shamanic practice and can be found in goddess traditions across the world. In this tradition shape shifting means Uh, accessing the essence or consciousness of another life form through embodied movement so it's important to note that it it is not imitating or pretending to be or acting like because uh, many of the ancient shape shifting traditions have been interpreted in those ways in our times it is actually a much more deep practice of matching the consciousness or the essence of another life form so why shape shifting in many goddess traditions the invitation is to be able to step into an expansive consciousness as and that is the way of linking into that universal consciousness whether we call it goddess deity divine however you may call it normally we as human beings we live in our minds so our consciousness is really limited by the mind and the mind has particular characteristics of which uh, narrative story definition labeling these are all characteristics of the mind so the story of what is a human being what is a man what is a woman all these limit our consciousness and the mind also separates and that's a function of the mind because you can't label and define if you don't separate disintegrate and fragment so we separate ourselves from the rest of life and the rest of consciousness so long as we live in this mind limited consciousness shape shifting is a practice of expanding into that consciousness that is not of the mind and that is beyond the mind and deeper than the mind we can't do this through a thought or a word because as long as we do all that we are still in the mind so this is why we do it through these embodied movements or dances which were revealed to ancient practitioners so the movement i'm going to share with you is an ancient revealed movement from natya shastra which is a text that dates back to at least 200 BCE so that's about 3000 years old and obviously the practice was older than that and in this movement the invitation is that you drop out of your mind you don't try and label it you don't try and define the sensation you're feeling but you just be with that sensation and you move into the connection that that sensation offers to you this is a movement of the snake and this is a great movement to do on the days when you are really feeling like as a human being you are disconnected from the flow of life and the flow of consciousness so important in our times because i think we have come to that moment in human history where all these ways in which we have separated ourselves and put ourselves at the top of the hierarchy they are really bringing us into times of confusion and chaos and here is this invitation to reconnect to the consciousness of all of life and of nature so i invite you to come and join me in this practice of the snake i'll step back so you can see my lower body so the first thing we do which is always if you've been watching my videos you'll know it's the first practice and that is dropping 
into our lower body from the waist down so we drop our weight you can put your feet in a V shape and bring your weight so drop all the weight there is a beautiful pot practice and I'll put a link to that too and that's a practice you can try um, it's a really wonderful way of coming into that groundedness in your lower body so here we are and I invite you to just push into your hips as if you're about to sit on a chair so you'll feel your weight is in the hips and in your mostly in your heels and just loosen up those hips just loosening I'll just move forward a bit because we're going to move backward in the snake movement so here we are and just feeling dropping into that weight and it's like you your lower body is a pot and you're gently the water is moving in the pot through your hips so move those hips loosen up and move the hips remember the hips are slightly weighted as if you're about to sit on a chair the legs are soft everything else is soft drop your arms let them be soft your fingers and now we're going to start moving the lower body in the lower body movement of the snake so shift the weight to one side and lift the other foot on the heel and again shifting the weight to the side on the heel so your weight is through the hips there's no weight on the heel and it's initiating from the hips so it's like you're pushing the hips and it just swings to the other side and boom and around and um and and now we're going to retreat we're not going advancing as the snake we are retreating so when we move here we drag that leg as if that's the tail of the snake drag it back then you shift and you drag shift it's a bit like the movement of those desert snakes you know how they move from side to side rather than straight through so here's this beautiful truth about the nature of reality already here you know it's not linear so what looks like advancing may be experienced as a retreating and again so once you get that momentum in the hips you can really use that weight in the hips to move have fun with it remember we're not going to label this retreating okay so let's now put some head movement in it the head is going to make this I'll come a bit closer to show you the head it's making this movement like a um, an infinity sign you know those infinity signs so it's the movement is so the head So obviously the eyes follow breathing without tensing the neck easy easy breathing Again, 
there's a momentum here. You don't have to shape that whole movement. In fact, if you go up to here, it's, it will drop off its own accord and drop. In a, little, in a way, it's a bit like your hips are doing. So now we add the head to the hips. So here we go. And please, your mind is not going to be able to grab hold of this and fix it and master it. Where it, it might feel messy, confusing. That's okay. That's all right. Yes. So here we go. Let's do that again. So you see, I'm not perfect either. We cannot be perfect in these practices. It's just about meeting that movement, holding all those movements. And that's how we move out of this. Perfection is also that limiting paradigm of the mind. So we move out of all that. We just expand what's beyond perfection. Okay, what's deeper than perfection. So here we are. Just meet it and have fun with it. The hips, the head. Retreating. <laughs> We're not done yet. We have some hands as well happening. So now the hands, and I'll come close, it's, you hold, it's like a little cupping movement with your ring finger out. Now, if that's too difficult, even this is okay. You know, you can just hold it like this or this way. And what we do now is it's like we're just throwing up things. Throwing up things. Very light, not effortful. Not at all effortful. Just breathe. It's like just throwing up things. So let's add all of these together. And if the mind is going screaming and saying, what on earth is happening? It's okay. We just want to drop beyond the mind. So here we go. Breathe, breathing, without resistance. Drop the resistance. Just let it be what it is. Shake it up. Let's do that. So I invite you to come with me. Do it with me a couple more times. So here we are. Breathe. Just have fun with it. We don't need to get it right. And one last time. Shake it out. And bringing that to a close. Come back to that pot, that grounded position we started with. And just for a few seconds, just close your eyes. Drop your complete attention, awareness, consciousness into the lower body. Moving the hips, weight mostly in the heels, the hips. No need to think. Just 
just sensing, breathing. already gently bringing that to a close and stepping out just gently shaking out releasing your arms and legs so I hope that you enjoyed this practice I hope that you were able to feel something that deeper, expansive, mysterious consciousness or state of being. I say mysterious because the mind doesn't know how to label it, what to call it. And that is that essential mystery of reality or of that consciousness, which we don't need to solve or need to label, but we just need to be in that sensation, be part of it and be one with it and match it and uh, not resist that sensation. So this is a beautiful practice, as I said, to do uh, in times when you're really feeling disconnected as a human being. Uh, I know that in these times I, I have heard pe women that I work with uh, express to me that how they feel that this deep disconnection and this is a beautiful practice where this invitation to be at one with another life form without any judgment about superiority about uh, how much better human beings are but just being one with humility and with pleasure and curiosity and an openness Thank you so much for joining me today. If you do the practice, I'd love to hear what you experienced and your reflections. And I look forward to your company on this channel again.